hey guys in this video i'll check us how to connect a ps4 controller to your pc completely wirelessly in 2022 so now let's just jump with the video as for this right here there's only two things you need so first your controller and then your computer so one more thing so this is gonna work on any pc and also any laptop as well then also for the windows version it can is windows 7 8 10 and also 11. now you're just gonna open up any browser you want and then you're just gonna type in ds4 for windows and click on enter and then and then uh, you're gonna click on the first link and then after you click on the link it, and now it's gonna look something like this right here so you're gonna click on get started or, or just click on this uh, download button and and then also you're gonna see one more thing uh, on this website it also gonna say ds4 uh, windows slash ds5 windows so that means this is gonna work with the a ps5 controller as well the uh, same thing you need for both uh, for both ps4 and the ps5 controller so just click on the download and if you get add just click on cross Okay, so before you click on the popular download button, so if you just go down, you're gonna see the last update. So uh, when this software got updated last time, it was actually yesterday on Ju uh, July 11, and today is uh, July 12. So that is good. Now you're gonna click on the download button, and now just give it a few seconds, and now you're gonna see this pop up. Just click on save. Uh, so as you can see, it's finished downloading. So now you can see double click to open it up, and you're gonna click on wizard and click on finish. And then it's gonna give uh, us our, our own file so now after that and now we're gonna uh, open it up and then now we're gonna look for ds4 uh, windows and you're gonna double click on it and then you should see this for the first time just now this is only for windows 11 i believe because i'm on the windows 11 and it's gonna tell it install.net if you don't have it and then it's gonna uh, say it but thing is if you already have it you can skip this part so now just click on yes and and you can click on a uh, chrome or, or edge it doesn't matter and now it's gonna go to this page right here so now it's gonna look something like this and then we can install the run desktop apps this run console app uh, don't do that and also this uh, ignore that too and focus on this uh, and now we're gonna get the three download option x64 x86 and also arm um, 64 so for me i'm on 86 and for most of you if you have a new pc or laptop it should be here on uh, 64. so now you're gonna run it okay so as you said it's finished downloading so now you can just uh, double click on it and give it a few seconds and click on install yes and and, and click on close as you said that's it so, okay so now we're gonna go back and run ds4 uh, for windows one more time a and now this time it is is gonna give it two option just like this right here so you can choose the uh, program folder or app data it doesn't matter and now click on yes it's gonna look something like this right here so for the step one we actually need to do that so just uh, click on step one and click on i accept and click on install uh, and now hit finish and for the step two it's only for windows 7 so if you're on windows 7 you actually need that but things if you're on windows uh, 8 or newer you don't need that step three you can uh, connect two way you can connect a uh, wide by using the micro usb cable or you can do a uh, wireless that i'm going to show you uh, by using bluetooth for the step four and five is optional so now you just gonna hit close and for all the other thing you can uh, close your exit for this one so now you can open up your setting and then tap on bluetooth and device tap on add device and tap on bluetooth and now on the control you're gonna hold the share and the addition button gonna set a uh, flashing it, it just like that so now on a pc you should see wireless controller you're gonna tap on it and then give it a few seconds and as you said it's saying connected and if i go to my controller as you say it's not flashing it's going to be a sort of light and click on done and after that you can just say close the setting so now over here it just hit start and now you see a controller just like this so first is the how the control is connected the status is via bluetooth for the battery as you can see it says zero percent so in this controller is almost dead and then also there's a profile you can select and also there's a one more thing as you said in the right there's a color you can actually you choose a custom color if you just choose this green if i go right here as you said the controller will be green or if you enter to do red just go up and click on red as you said the uh, color is red and now we're gonna hit close and also as you said there's a profile you can select so just go to the profile and then click on new and then click on now in this software you can actually configure everything on your keyboard even the trackpad uh, even the even the trigger, even the optional button, share button, even the uh, logo. It's selected, you have to just name it. You can just na name it anything. And then you have to just click on save. And now you're gonna go back and then as you said, for the selected profile, you have to just select the profile you just choose. And then that's it. That's the most important part. If you close this, your control will disconnect. So I just 
just hit the uh, red button and now your controller should be working so if we just hold the ps button you're gonna see the control is pair and as you said it's working so now now i'll i'll quickly show you guys a gameplay so enjoy the uh, rest of the video and see you guys then peace out <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 